Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'm going to be restoring and customising this Corgi number 337, the Chevrolet Stingray stock car. These were released in 1967. There was an earlier version, it didn't have the pipes on the side and it didn't have the motor sticking out through the bonnet. It also had quite cool headlights that popped up and down. They had the jewels in them that a lot of old corgis had. And actually when I was bidding on this car, I was also bidding on one of those, but the price just got quite ridiculously high. So taking a closer look at this example, it's in pretty good condition. None of the plastic is broken. The paint job is just pretty beat up. It's got these fairly ridiculous decals on it. Eyes at the front. Go, 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 lazy bones. Unfortunately, there's a crack in one of the rear windows, but that's okay. It's not so noticeable. This car has rounded rivets. I don't have a center punch at the moment, so I use my rotary tool just to start some little holes in the center of them so that my drill doesn't slide off to the side. And then I can drill them out. As with most of these larger metal bottomed cars, it pops apart quite easily. Now I can take it all apart. The motor and pipes turned out to be a bit of a one to get out. I ended up slightly bending those two metal tabs and then I could pop it out. While I have the car on my vise, I drill out the rivet holes with a 1.7mm drill and then I can tap them with a 256 tap. I use just a tiny amount of oil to lubricate the holes before I tap them. Some poly stripper is painted on to remove the paint. After a few minutes the paint will peel off and then you can wash it away with some water. Actually I'd normally go and give these another go with a stripper when I've got this much paint left on them but I think it was quite stormy outside when I was filming this. And I usually use the paint stripper in my outside shed down the back of the yard so I'm just going to use some steel wool to remove the left on paint. Now 
I use a wire brush on my rotary tool to remove the oxidation and remaining paint scraps from the car. Here it is after a clean up. Now I just give it a wash and then I can paint it. Now for me, by far the best color for these old stingrays is metallic blue, or even the silver ones look pretty cool. So I mix myself up some dark blue and some metallic medium from Vallejo to make myself a metallic blue paint. Once this had dried, I just had to add a couple of small details with some silver. While this was curing, I could move on to the plastic parts. The first job was to remove the old chrome from the bumper and motor sections. I do this with a bit of hot water from a tap and a spoonful of caustic soda. In go the plastic parts and you can see the chrome starting to come off of them after a few seconds. I then take them and give them a rinse and they're looking nice and clean. Remember not to touch the caustic soda mixture as it will give you a nasty burn. There was a small break in the bumper section so I use this Starbond super glue to fix it. I can now give the parts a base coat of black and then I finish them with Vallejo Metal Color Chrome. The interior is in great condition. A lot more chunky than some of the other Corgi cars I restored. I give it a quick clean with this little brush. Now I give it an undercoat with some Tamiya Grey Primer and then I paint it in the dark blue that I made the metallic blue out of. The wheels are in great condition, they're just a little bit dull, so I give them a coat of chainmail silver. And finally, the windscreen has a few flecks of paint on it from where somebody's tried to patch up the car in the past. I can just gently flick these off with a pick. Now I just give it a quick polish and a wash. So here are all of our parts, finished and ready to go back together. See the chromed motor and bumper parts. I detailed the steering wheel on the interior. And the body parts have been given a nice coat of gloss. All that's left to do is to throw the parts back together and screw it up with some button head screws. So before we take a look at our finished Corvette Stingray, let's take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. A well play worn example with all of its parts there but a very chipped paint job and decals and pretty scruffy looking chrome parts. 
Somebody's also given it a go at a patch up paint job which has shot over onto the windscreen in places. And here it is, our restored and customised Chevrolet Stingray by Corgi. It's looking much better now with a fresh metallic blue paint job and re-chromed parts. These are one of the best looking old American sports cars in my opinion and it was really fun tidying this one up and making it look a bit flasher. I also really like these cars in a metallic blue so it was well satisfying to be able to give it that paint job. And if you like these old Corgi toys, I recommend checking out Bob Willis's channel. He does a lot of Corgi restorations and he really knows what he's talking about. He does some of the quite complicated models like the James Bond and the bigger Batman car. They got like moving parts and stuff in them. Anyway, really interesting stuff. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. As always, welcome to all my new subscribers and a massive thanks to everyone for the likes and comments on my videos and extra special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to check out my Patreon page, I'll leave a link in the description below. So it's off out country for a photo shoot with our finished Stingray. 